Welcome to our GHL tutorial video. In this video we will show you how to update your Mitras LX firmware. To get started, please download and install the latest version of GHL Control Center. You can find the direct link to our website's download section by clicking on the link in the description box below. GCC will be located at the bottom of the page under the Software Tools and Drivers section. Once you have GCC open and ready to go, connect to your Mitras LX via USB. Click on the Backup and Restore tab at the top of the screen and save all of your Mitras settings to a file. This file will be used to reload all of your settings to the fixture if the need arises. Once your settings are backed up, click on the Extras tab followed by Firmware Update located under the Maintenance section. Read the information shown on the screen, check the box, then click Continue. Click Next to enter bootloader mode. After a couple of seconds, the fixture's LEDs and display should turn off and load the USB VCOM driver. Only the touch keys themselves will stay on. From here, click on Device Manager and click on the Ports Common and LPT drop-down box. You should be able to see USB VCOM listed with a COM number beside it. In this example, we can see that the COM number is 5. Close out the Device Manager window and confirm that 5 has been entered into the box. If another number is entered, delete it and enter the correct COM number. When you go through these update steps, be sure to enter the COM number that is displayed on your PC. With that completed, go ahead and click Next. In this step, GCC automatically finds and selects the newest firmware version. Please note that if you would like to load another firmware version, you can do so by clicking on the folder icon here. In this case, you will need to locate the firmware file you wish to load. Once that is complete, Go ahead and click Next. At this time, the firmware update will now begin. Make sure that under no circumstances this update is interrupted. Once the update is completed, restart the fixture by unplugging it from the wall and plugging it back in. When you reconnect to your Mitras LX, you will see the new firmware version displayed in the General Settings page. If you need to restore your Mitras settings, you can do so by clicking on the Backup and Restore tab, followed by clicking on the button that reads Transmit from File to Mitras LX. You will then need to locate the settings file and click Open. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get updates on new tutorial videos. If you have any questions for us and need further support, please contact us via email at info at